I love it. Like I told you before, I love it. You know, you know, when you're the underdog, people ain't as more um, as concerned as you know if you was like um, you know the team that, the team to beat. So I love it. You know. What's gonna be a couple keys tonight for Carroll to win? You gotta play hard. You know, like I tell you, like I've been telling you all year, you gotta do the little things. You know, we definitely gonna have to box out. We definitely got to talk on defense, communicate with each other, and um, just work hard. Coach, best of luck. Thanks, Bob. All right, Myron Lowe, head coach of the Farrell Steelers. We'll come back. Starting lineup to the tip off. Farrell and Amani Christian tonight. State quarterfinals on Sports Radio 96. Attorney Bill Motor would like to say good luck, good health, and best wishes to all the players, coaches, band members, and cheerleaders in today's game and throughout the season. Attorney Bill Motor, 2500 Highland Road, Hermitage. The first quarter is brought to you by the Reinhardt's Agency. It's not the insurance they sell, it's the service that makes them better. Amana Christian Academy Saints, 70 a game on offense, giving up 52 on the defensive side, 244 and a 344 from the line for 71%, 144 threes. Uh, Brazil has 31, you got Wesley and the Sledge both with 26, and they shoot their threes at about a 42% clip. Mark Syke, Carl Greenwich, Rob Lombardo are officials on this one. The Farrell Steelers, they go with the black and gold as we get closer to Pittsburgh. They'll wear the black uniforms with the gold numbers, letters in trim, black and white checks down the side. And Amani Christian also with a similar color scheme, but in the white uniforms with the black trim, black numbers, and black lettering. North Allegheny High School, the site tonight. What an incredible venue. We've been down here so many times in the past. And some good memories, some bad memories. For you, as we are set for this basketball game, you heard Bob with the starting lineups. Incredible size on this Amani team. Farrell, as Coach Lowe mentioned, not worried about the size. Let's get the job done. Maluk and Mathis jump center circle, ball in the air, tap controlled by Amani as they'll save it just before it goes out of bounds and it's basketball time in North Allegheny. Across the timeline is Sledge, we go right side to Wesley, we get it inside spinning shooting with a right hand hook, it's up and good for Virgil Hill. Hill is a top ranked sophomore in the country, all kind of big division one offers and he gets the first two points of the game. Wilson works left wing, floats it in the corner for Odom. Ball tipped out of bounds. They're going to say off of Odom. Odom says it wasn't off of him, but the officials say it is, and the ball will go to Amani on the Farrell turnover. Sledge across the timeline, works to the ring, lob inside. Hill catches it, reverse layup is up and in. Hill showing uh, the power inside to make it 4 0 Amani as Wilson will race it across the timeline for Farrell. Wilson to the baseline, picks up the dribble there, double teamed, and the jump ball called as they tie him up. The ball will stay with Farrell. And right now, the first thing is Farrell's got to do a much better job pressuring the guards. Sledge is a good one. Allowing him to get those uh, alley oop passes is going to be devastating. Wilson will lob left side for O'Kane. Catch, shoot, three ball. Banks off the blank. Bank board shot, no good. Long rebound for Gibner. Ahead to Sledge, but stolen back for O'Kane. Good hustle to get back. O'Kane will race it across the timeline. Into the corner. Odom going to fire three. The shot's no good. Rebound far side, and it's a tie-up underneath, but out of bounds with a piece of the ball was Gibner, so Farrell will retain. And there was a kind of scrum for the ball there, and Gibner was laying out of bounds as he had the ball in his hands. Baseline inbound to Odom, and where's number 13 tonight? Works right into the paint, ball knocked away. Looked like it may have tipped off Virgil Hill. Officials say it was off of Odom. I, I think He's they're going to make that correction. They will correct, and they're going to change it. All right. All right. I said the two outer officials both looked like they, they saw the tip and they came in and conferred and it is 
Now changed back to Farrell basketball under the hoop. And it's one of those times we had a perfect angle. It was <laughs> yeah. clearly off of Amani. Now we'll inbound to O'Kane. On the left wing to the top of the key. O'Kane stops in the paint. Fadeaway jumper. Rim no. Rebound banged around. Maluk will grab it. Outlet though. Throw it to Wilson. Wilson to the basket. High layup is tipped. Blocked. And the loose ball to the middle of the floor. Fight for the basketball. Picked up by Amani and then stolen back by Kylon Wilson. Wilson lost his dribble in the backcourt. And a timeout going to be called by Myron Lowe as Wilson falls to the floor. A feral timeout. We'll take the break. Four to nothing. Amani Christian on top of Farrell. Back with more in a moment on your home for the PIAA playoffs. Sports Radio 96.7. My car does more than take me from here to there. And I expect my insurance to do more too. That's why I chose my agent and Erie Insurance. They offer first accident forgiveness and the service I deserve at a price I can afford. Your Erie agent in Hermitage is Reinhardt's Insurance. Get a quote at 724-342-2291. Erie Insurance services are provided by one or more of the following insurers. Erie Insurance Company, Erie Insurance Property and Casualty Company, or Flagship City Insurance Company, Home Offices, Erie, Pennsylvania, or Erie Insurance Company of New York, Home Offices, Rochester, New York, an equal opportunity insurer. The birds are chirping, the days are getting longer, and the deals are smoking hot at Fred Martin Ford. Like $4,000 off all in stock F-150s. And not just the leftover 22 models, but every 22 and 23 F-150 on the ground. With many to choose from, all are $4,000 off. Plus, you get 0% financing. And don't worry about your credit. Getting you financed is never a problem. Cash in on these big spring savings today at Fred Martin Ford, where we sell for less, a lot less. The first quarter is brought to you by the Reinhardt's Agency. It's not the insurance they sell, it's the service that makes them better. Farrell with the inbound into the backcourt with a 4 to nothing deficit, 6-27 first quarter. O'Kane at the top of the key. High post for Matthews, back out to O'Kane. O'Kane comes off a high screen, working to his right. Into the corner intended for Odom, he threw it out of bounds. Odom went left when he thought he was going right. Farrell's turned the ball over a couple of times here in the early going. And right now, the size of Amani is uh, obviously a factor here. Ball goes into Sledge. RJ brings it across the timeline, penetrates lane left, stop, pop, jumper, front rim, no good. Got his own rebound in the paint, knocked away by O'Kane, and a takeaway for Farrell. Odom has it poked away from behind him into the corner for Matthews. Matthews on the baseline, and he's out of bounds. Ball goes back over to Amani. And normally Farrell's able to get to the rim and, and penetrate with their quickness, but with the two big rim protectors, it's not easy here so far tonight, Mark. And we've seen that on a couple of occasions, and Farrell attacking and having it kind of a take a wild shot. Here's the sideline pass knocked out of bounds as Wilson will poke it out. Sideline inbound, far side for Wesley of Amani Christian with a 4-0 lead. Ball goes into the corner and then down low for Hill. Double team, put it up and in with the right hand. All six points are Virgil Hill, the 6'8 junior. And right now, getting the ball down to that low block is just basically handing him on two points. Put him across the timeline, working against Sledge. Lost the ball on the dribble, loose on the floor, got it back, flipped it to Wilson, top of the key. Wilson drives to the left side, hard to the basket, scoops with the right hand, shot blocked to dead by Maluk. Long pass ahead to Sledge, Sledge right side, to the basket, laid it up, missed it but a foul, and it will be a two-shot opportunity for R.J. Sledge. And that's going to be on Danny Odom, I believe. So Farrell looking for their first points here of the game, trailing 6 nothing, 5.18 to go first quarter. Had one good look at the three early on by O'Kane. Every other shot has been highly contested. Line left for Sledge. Transfer from Bishop Canavan. His foul shot rattles out, in and out and back in again. Yeah, Sledge transfer from Canavan was ruled ineligible by the WPIL. Uh, they appealed and PWA overturned it. So he is playing here and he's played all year. Foul shot is up and good. State championship Bishop Canavan team. Eight nothing, Amani on the lead. Wilson's quickly across the timeline to O'Kane okay out front. O'Kane works around a high screen, left wing, attacks the basket, shot blocked by Malouk, and the ball out of bounds. Boy, O'Kane ended up on the floor. The block was clean up top. There may have been some body involved there, but ball out of bounds, it'll be Farrell's ball. Yeah, the Farrell fans right behind us not happy with the no call there. 
Inbound for Odom under the basket. We'll lob it to O'Kane, left wing. Turns, shoots, three ball, off the rim. No good. Matthews pokes the rebound into the corner, but out of bounds. The ball goes back to Amani. Farrell 0 for 7 here from the field to start this game. They trail 8 to nothing. 5-0-1 on our first quarter clock. Givner to inbound. In the ball to sledge across the timeline. Working with a left-hand dribble. Into the corner. Firing the long three. It's up and good. Avery Wesley with a three from the corner. 11-0. The Amani lead. And Amani's done this to a lot of their opponents. Mark gone off to big first quarter starts. Fighting to the basket is Wilson. Shot blocked out of bounds. Another block inside by the big guy, Malir Malouk. Second block officially for Malouk. Sideline inbound for Farron. Odom looking. And as he tries to get it inside to Owens, the ball kicked out of bounds. He'll do it again. Just looking at this Amani team, it's, it's hard to imagine. This is a single weight team in Pennsylvania high school basketball. Inbound will go in the backcourt and be grabbed by O'Kane. O'Kane across the timeline working against Gibner. And we may have a foul here on a reach in. I think it's going to be all. Yep, that's Gibner. Gibner. Yep. So Dame Gibner picks up his first foul. Fair with the inbound underneath. They trail 11 to nothing, 431 on the first quarter clock. Odom looking. Lobs in the backcourt for Wilson. Wilson will cross the timeline left to the wing. Wilson working against Wesley. And a pick out front on Owens. They'll call that an illegal screen and give the ball back to Amon. Lamont Samuel's going to come in now for the Steelers. And yeah, Owens just sliding a little too much there, Mark. Wasn't set. Quick update. Media timeout down at Norwin Kennedy leading Bishop McCourt 9-2 in 2A girls quarterfinal. Samuels had a big game off the bench in the win against Harmony. Right side attack of the basket to the rim as Givner shot no good. Rebound grabbed by Owens. Heads up. Near side almost hit the ball into our table. As the big guy Malouk at 6'11 came extremely close to give us a visit. <laughs> you're, you're worried about the ball. I'm worried about the 6'11 big guy coming on our table. And he was coming after you at that angle. He was not going to hit me. If he either hit me, he's going to hit you too. No, he's 6'11". That's probably true. <laughs> not going to be one of us. Side by inbound for Farrell. We're at midcourt here on the opposite side of the scorer's table. Here's the inbound going to Samuels. Right side. Samuels makes a move to the basket. Righty layup up and good. So right away off the bench and in the hoop for Samuels. Farrell's first two. They trail 11-2. Malouk right side. Corner Hill going to fire a three and hit it. Oh, how about that? Three twos and a three for Virgil Hill. And it's 14-2 now. Amani. Samuels lobs it down low, intended for Owens, tipped away in a takeaway. And we're back the other way. Amani across the timeline. And Gibner contacted by Samuels. Gonna be a sideline inbound is picking up the first foul is Lamont Samuels, and that should take us to the media timeout. Media timeout of the action will take the break. It's a 14 to 2 start for Amani over Farrell. Back with more in a moment at your home for the PIAA playoffs. Sports Radio 96 7. Health Foundation and Remote Area Medical have partnered to bring a free dental clinic to our community. The clinic will be held on Saturday and Sunday, June 10th and 11th, inside Sharon High School's gymnasium. Each day, patients will be seen on a first-come, first-served basis, starting at 6 a.m., and all service will be provided at no cost. Save the date, June 10th and 11th, to be seen by a dental professional for exams, cleanings, fillings, extractions, and oral hygiene instruction, all for free at Sharon High School. Patients be prepared for a potential extended waiting period. Did you know that Mancino's driving school can give you your driver's test that's right mancino's driving school provides an approved pennsylvania department of education certified driving course as well as behind the wheel training mancino's driving school offers one-on-one -on, -one on the road driving lessons seven days a week with day and evening hours they use only certified driving instructors that have undergone extensive background investigation for details or more information on adult training go online to mancino's driving school.com the first quarter is brought to you by the Reinhardt's Agency. It's not the insurance they sell, it's the service that makes them better. 
Back here in North Allegheny, Mark Slazak along with Bob Graberg. Art Shannon back at the studio. 14 to 2, the Amani Christian lead over Farrell Amani uh, in their win against Union Reimersburg. They jumped out 11 to nothing on their way to an 80 to 48 win to get to this game. And talk about jumping out. Kennedy now up 17 to 2 over Bishop McCourt in the first quarter. And the inbound will go to Gibner. Top of the key to Sledge to set the offense for Amani the basket. To our left, if you're watching on YouTube, to the right. Out front, Malouk, a couple of dribbles, fires a short jumper and up and good over top of Matthews. That's great defense by Matthews, but nothing he can do against a 6'11 sophomore. Tied up on the sideline for a moment as Wilson crosses it to Samuels right side. Samuels down low to Owens in the paint, reach in found by Malouk as he tried to reach around Owens. Malouk had some foul trouble in the Union Reimersburg game. 16-2, Amani leading Farrell, 3.08 to go first quarter. Inbound to Samuels, right side. Comes around to Matthews, screen to the top of the key. Samuels, fakes left, goes right, blocked by Malouk. Loose ball grabbed by Sledge. Sledge across the timeline, left wing. Stops, pops, three ball, rim no. Long rebound, gathered in there, and it's given her to the basket. Can't get the shot to go. Ball into the corner, and grabbed by Farrell as Wilson comes all the way with a loose ball. Across the timeline, losing balance, Wilson, take it away, Malouk right side, bam, with two hands. Running the floor, getting the dunk, the big guy, Malouk, 18 to two, Amani. And Kylon got into big trouble there, across the timeline, triple teamed. And now, Dante Bell coming in for Farrell. Give Matthews a break. And this is a tough start here for the Steelers, down 18 to two. And the Odom at the top of the key, working to the right side, gets in the paint, floats the jumper up and in. Nice floater in the lane for Odom. And that may be what Farrell need to do, is try to just get those floaters, not get all the way to the rim, because the big guy is taking that away. Right side sledge, Farrell trails 18-4. Top of the key, Wesley, three ball good. They can shoot it, they can defend a little bit of everything so far. Second three for Wesley. Quickly to the corner, and a quick shot right side, banked in. Well, why not? We'll take that just the same. Dante Bell off the bench in the hoop at the three. Yeah, 21 whatever, set. Whatever it takes, 15 three of the year for Bell. Even there on the wing, out front, Sledge fires a three, got it. Oh my goodness. That is one, two, three, now four threes here in this first quarter. 24-7, Amani leads. This Amani team, not only they made four threes, but they are shooting lights out as well from the field. Shot well in their last win, 58%. Here's Odom to the basket, high arcing layup, up and good. So Odom back to back, actually sandwiched around the Matthews basket, I should say, the, the Bell basket, 24-9, and a travel out front of the big guy, trying to bring the ball up, Malouk will be called for the travel. The ball goes back over to the Farrell Steelers. 123 to go here in his first quarter. Farrell trailing 24-9. In the last few minutes, though, at least a little bit of the hope on the offense. A couple of good drives by Odom. Here's O'Kane back in the game, left side for Odom. He'll fire a three ball left side, it's too strong. And the rebound grabbed there by Marcus Williams, who's just checked in. Long pass ahead, intended for the big guy. Hill knocked away by Farrell, they're on the run. Samuels right side to the basket, layup no good, but a foul. Great job by Lamont Samuels, engaging and making contact on Gibner. That'll be his second foul, he will come out. So definitely a little bit of a positive last minute or so for Farrell. And Samuels will shoot two here with Farrell down 24-9, 102 to go first quarter. So line right for Lamont Samuels, 61% on the year. Foul shot is up around the rim and in. Farrell as a team has shot 56% from the line. And we're gonna need all of those today. And if you're watching on YouTube, it's lying to your left. That's right, opposite. I'm gonna correct you on that a That's few okay. times. It's okay, you can just add it. You don't have to correct, you just <laughs> add, because on the radio, it's not wrong. <laughs> Second time, Samuels foul shot, rattles out, no good, and the rebound grabbed there by Williams. Across the timeline, Sledge with 53 seconds to go in this first quarter, Farrell will look to double. Up front, it goes to Wesley. Wesley back to Sledge. Sledge at the top of the key, whistle, three seconds. Too much time in the lane. Looked like that was called on Destin Hubbard who had just checked in. Yeah, the 
Omar Foster not happy. Telling his player, you gotta move out of the paint, you just can't stand there. Across the timeline, Joels Johnson, who has just checked in the game for Farrell. Right side, it goes to Samuels, into the paint, lost the ball, and tap away from behind, it goes to Wilson, he lays it in. Right place, right time, good finish for Kylan Wilson. 24-12 now, Farrell down by just 12. Attacking right side, Williams bangs in, offensive foul. Taking the charge, O'Kane, flip the ball back over to Farrell again. And Kylon Wilson on the offensive side, and now the defensive side, a little bit of a spark. And the inbound, Farrell, get it into Johnson. All over him is Hubbard. Johnson, the freshman, across the timeline. Hubbard's gonna, he probably fouled him about four times on that series, twice in the backcourt and the front court as well. Johnson unfazed. Team foul number five on Amani. Failed the inbound. And we're back to O'Kane with 13 seconds to go in the quarter. O'Kane, right side, down the lane, ball stripped away, but another reach in foul. Looked like Sledge on this one. And that'll be the 16th foul on Amani here, and we're still in the first quarter. So Sledge will pick up a foul. His first, Farrell will inbound with 9.6 seconds. Johnson looking to trigger, looking. He'll go into the backcourt. Samuels will run it down. Clock won't stop until he grabs it, so now it moves at nine. Right side, Bell a long bomb three. It's off the back rim, no good. It's run down into the corner, and they're going to call a push on the fight for the rebound. We're gonna say Johnson is gonna get that foul. 1.7 seconds, Amani off the goal, almost the length of the court. In the inbound near midcourt, they'll turn, they'll fire, and they'll bank almost in, but no good there. And the shot right side by Hubbard, and that's gonna end our first quarter of action. Little life in that second part of the quarter for Farrell. After one, Amani Christian 24, and Farrell 12, on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96.7. Stop by O'Neill Coffee and try one of their magically delicious signature drinks. From classic favorites such as the Leap and Leprechaun and Dublin Ditty to the all-new Irish Mist Cold Brew, Pinch Proof Joe Freeze, and five amazing new refreshers. You'll be doing an Irish jig all the way home. Be sure to check out the new O'Neill Coffee Spring Merchandise arriving daily. Open Monday through Friday from 7 to 4.30 and Saturdays from 8 to 1. Or visit them on the web at O'NeillCoffee.com. On the go, no time to stop? That's when you'll love the Medicine Shop Pharmacy's drive through window service at 1740 East State Street in Hermitage. Next time you have a prescription to get, or vitamins, medication, bandages, any kind of health need, simply call ahead and place your order with our fast, dependable, always convenient drive through service window. To place your order, call 724-983-8451. Our friendly drive through window service keeps you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. The second quarter is brought to you by Cash Dollar and Associates, where they have the client and only the client in mind. Mark Slazak and Bob Greenberg back with you in North Allegheny. Mark Shannon at the studio. Boys 1A PI AA quarter final action. Farrell down 24-12 as we start this second quarter to Amani Christian. Yeah, it was a 10-6 run there in the last about three minutes for Farrell. They were down 18-2, so definitely a little bit of momentum here. And Amani getting a little bit of foul trouble as well. So we'll see how this second quarter plays out with Amani with the basketball. Across the timeline, the sledge right side to Wesley who had a couple of threes in that first quarter. Into the right corner for Williams. High post for Hill, turn, shoots, hits. He has been the man thus far, Virgil Hill. 11 points for Hill, big time player, oh my goodness. He is uh, averaging 12 a game, he has 11 already in this game. Out front, O'Kane. Carroll is Gonna found their offense driving down the lane, and here's a blocking foul out front on Williams. And that should put O'Kane to the line for one on one. It will be the bonus time now for Farrell. Virgil Hall, the 6'8 junior, ranked 16th in the country in some of the top rankings. And this big strong guy at 
Six foot eight on some rosters, six foot nine on some others. And Maluk is a, one of the top sophomores in the country, so he got two really big time players on his team. Okay, line right. One and one opportunity. First one off the back rim, no good. So they'll not get the second one. The rebound grabbed by him on. Right side, they'll skip it in the corner for Maluk. He wants to shoot a three. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound grabbed by Farrell as Odom clears the board. The big guy has six threes this year, so he can knock him down. He likes to shoot the ball. Ball out front for Odom. Odom into the paint, floats it up on the right hand. Glass and good. Danny Odom with six. 26-14. Monty Christian leading Farrell. And that's the kind of shot that Farrell needs. A little runner from about five or six feet. Williams in the corner, attacks the lane. Out front, Wesley over to Sledge. Sledge attacks the baseline, floats up a wild shot. In and out, no good. Rebound grabbed by Owens. Owens of Farrell across to Odom right side. Odom works the right wing with a left hand dribble. Stops, pops a three ball. It's off the rim, no fight for the rebound. Is pulled out of there by Hill. Long pass ahead to Malouk. Maluk right side, jumps through, puts it off the glass, and it's good. A couple of dribbles, and he's all the way down the floor. Quickly the other way to the basket. O'Kane will lay it in, and a foul with a chance for a three-point play, taking full advantage of Amani not getting back quickly. O'Kane rushes it up the floor with a chance for a three-point play as Farrell trails 28-16. And that'll be two on the big guy, Alir Maluk, the 6'11 sophomore. So that's a big foul there, and O'Kane with a spectacular finish here for the Steelers. Toss it off the back rim, no good. Rebound those banged into the hands of Wesley. Top of the key, Wesley will go to Maluk. Into the corner for Williams, he'll turn and chuck a three, and that was just a wild shot. Goes over the rim, and the air ball grabbed by Odom on the other end. Top of the key, Odom. Off to Samuels on the left wing. Samuels to the baseline, stops and gets it back out front to Odom. And Samuels had the big guy in the air if he would have gone into him. Here's a knockaway from behind. Long pass ahead to Sledge to the basket. Ready layup up and good. Farrell turnover ends up with a basket for Sledge. And a timeout going to be taken by Amani. Timeout of the action. We're back with more in a moment with the score. Amani 30, Farrell 16 on your home for the PIAA playoff. Sports Radio 96.7. Home Improvement Hotline, how can I help? Hi, we're thinking of remodeling our kitchen. Make your dream kitchen? Yeah. Yourself? Yes. Oh boy. Why? Oh, the headaches from flooring in tight corners to why doesn't the countertop fit? The cabinets are wrong, poles don't match. Do we repaint or refloor? You have to rewire the outlet. Suddenly it's six months and you still have no um, kitchen. We don't want that. Oh, then here's who to call. Warner's Homes and Improvements. For a headache-free dream kitchen or bath, tell us your dreams. We'll make it happen. Since 1958, Warner Homes and Improvements. Quality you can trust at warnerconstruction.com. Are you looking for a great checking account without a lot of extra strings attached? A Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account is a great example of credit union value. The Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account offers no minimum balance, no monthly service fees, unlimited transactions, a Visa debit card available for 24-7 access, remote deposit, and real-time debit card alerts. See them today at one of their two locations in Grove City or online at gcafcu.org. Member NCUA, Equal Housing and Equal Opportunity Lender. The second quarter is brought to you by Cash Dollar and Associates, where they have the client and only the client in mind. Wilson shot no good, followed by Odom is good, and Farrell cuts the lead to 30-18. to 18. Quickly, right side sledge bangs through. What's our call? I think he might have a blocking foul this time. It's going to be on Owens, I believe, of Farrell. As Wilson got to the rim, and then Odom with the putback. Cuts it to 30 to 18 now with 5.25 to go in this first half. Kennedy led 19 to six at the end of one against Bishop McCourt, two A girls. And now they're actually gonna call that a shooting foul, Mark. All right, as he crashed in. Two shots line left for Sledge. First one is off the rim, no good. Sledge 73% from the line is now two of three in this game. Owen's gonna check out. Matthews back in. On the Farrell side. Meyer and Lowe smiling. I think he was thinking the same thing I was. I, I didn't know that was a shooting foul. <laughs> second shot line left 30 to 18. Farrell trails. Sledge hits the second one. 31 18. Amani. 522 to go. First half. Right side. Wilson. 
into the paint, back out front. Samuels, three ball around the rim, no, and rebound grabbed just as it came off the rim. My mother. Boy, that could have been goaltending, but it was uh, wasn't Play. called. Sledge corner, three ball off the rim, no good. Blue good blocked out by Farrell. Wilson on the run. Three on two, Farrell. Wilson stop, pop, foul, and jumper good. Rebound, run out of the basket for Kylan Wilson. 31 20. Farrell deficit is 11. I know one thing, Farrell is not going to quit here tonight. They are battling this tall and talented Amani team. Wesley right side into the corner. Gibner's checked back in. Gibner to the basket, off the glass, missed it. Rebound banged around, loose on the floor. Gathered in by Hill, put it in. Virgil Hill makes it 33 20. Hill with six of six from the field now in this game. 13 points. Samuels foul line. Why to go up with the ball poked away by Hill? Back the other way comes Sledge. Right side for Givner. Fakes right, goes left. Into the corner will go to Hill. Hill for three. Missed that one. His first miss. Rebound to Kane. Long outlet to Samuels left side. Samuels to the basket. Put it up. Put it in. And a foul to go with it. Well, you're right about the not giving up and not giving in as Samuels took it right against the 6'8 Hill and has a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, and it was a one-on-two break. I'm like, Lamont, what are you doing yeah. here? And he, he was uh, determined. He made a nice move at the rim. And, and, he, and Hall makes his, it's the first foul of the game. Hill, yep, Hill will check out with his first one. Sorry, Hall, Virgil Hall. Not Hill, but Hall checks out with his first foul. Line right foul shot is in and out for Samuels. Farrell, and able to hit that front end of the one-on-one. -on -one. Excuse me, the, the uh, three-point play. And here back the other way. 33-22. At the top of the key for the basketball. Sledge, and that might be the third foul on Maluk, and it is. He pushed in to Samuels and commits the foul. Big time play by Samuels. Just kind of got into the grill of Maluk, or maybe his chest. Not his grill, he's too tall. And then uh, Maluk got a little frustrated and just shoved Samuels to the ground. Media time out of the action will take the break with 3.56 to go in the first half. 33-22, the lead for Imani over Farrell. Back with more in a moment. It's on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96.7. Usually, you don't get a new roof for the heck of it. Uh, why are you replacing your roof? Yeah, I didn't like the color. You get a new roof because you're going to need it. Shell Restoration's Severe Weather Response Team is ready to help. The area's number one company for sales and installation of roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. Shell Restoration excels at working with your insurance company for wind and hail claims. Plus, there's financing available, too. Look for at Shell Restoration on Facebook or call 800-663-8103 for a free estimate. Water. You can ski on it. Watch the sun set behind it. Bathe in it. Swim in it. Cook with it. Or seek refuge in solace beside it. But the most refreshing water has a very particular label on it. Herman's Water since 1908. Here's spring water that can be delivered to your office or home for free. Online at Herman'sWater.com. Herman's Water, when taste matters. The second quarter is brought to you by Cash Dollar and Associates, where they have the client and only the client in mind. All right, we're back here. Mark Slazak with Bob Greenberg, our Shannon back at the studio. Justin Lewis and the crew is Farrell Area School District Athletics YouTube page joins us today as well. It's 33-22. Armani leads Farrell. This will be big here, Mark. Farrell can get down to single digits. Would be massive moment here in this game. 1-3-1 on the defense now with both big guys are out. Johnson will go to Odom out front. Back to Johnson, right side. High post. Bell turns, shoots, foul line jumper off the rim. No good. Rebound banged around and grabbed by Williams. Across the timeline, left side for Givner, spins into the corner, gives it back out front. Interesting that both of the big guys sit, and Maluk sits with three fouls. And Hall is going to come in at the next dead ball, but yeah, this is an opportunity maybe for Farrell. Out front, Sledge in no hurry. Now double team right side to Givner, inside to Williams, double team takeaway as Johnson rips it out of there. Quickly right side, Odom, top of the key for Johnson. And so 1-3-1 one, one zone, left side for O'Kane. Kane crosses it out, right side, Odom, three ball in the air, side rim, no good, rebound in the corner, Matthews grabbed it, 
but when he went to the ground, he's out of bounds. 2.48 to go here at first half. Farrell trailing 33-22. Winner moves to the state semifinals on Monday versus the winner of the nightcap here between Union and Carlinton. So Virgil Hall checks back in for Amani. 11 point lead for Amani as they work here in the second quarter. Out front, Wesley, three ball, rim and no, tap, no. Fight for the rebound into the corner and it's off of Amani as Hall threw it off of Matthews but then it hit him before he was cleared of the basketball. So fair ball. And now Amani doing a 2-2-1 two -two full court trap. Go long opposite corner for Bell, back out front for Johnson to Odom. Odom will cross it left side on the wing for Bell, and Bell gets fouled. Foul shot's coming, and this is where Farrell needs to capitalize from the line. And we get these opportunities. They got the Samani team into the one and one way early into this quarter. That'll be two on Sledge as. You have three players with two, one with three on the Amani side foul-wise. And you're right, Mark. Farrell's got to take advantage of this. Got to start making some of these. Dante Bell, line right, and hits the first. It's double bonus time now. It's 10 fouls, so takes a little bit of pressure off. Bell hits the first for his fourth point. One more line right for Bell. 6-3, Junior got it both. Now to a 10 point deficit, a 9 point deficit at 33 24. Farrell started out down 18 to 2. Farrell now 3 of 7 from the foul line here tonight as a team. But a streak of 2 in a row, keep it rolling. Here's Wesley, trapped near the midcourt stripe off the sledge. Sledge will bounce it in the corner for Williams. He'll turn, he'll fire, his 3 is long. Weak side rebound though, grabbed by Wesley, back out to Sledge. Sledge. Baseline double team to Givner. Out front for Wesley, right side for Williams. Thought about a three, now takes the three. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound banged around, ends up in the hands of Sledge, and he'll put it up and in. Boy, two big offensive rebounds there for Amani. They go back up 11, 35, 24. Right side, Odom, top to key for Johnson. Left corner for Wilson. Baseline drive, attacks the basket. Blocked in there by Hall. Rebound Sledge to Givner down the floor. Lefty layup, up and good. First basket for Givner, 37-24. The lead for Amani. Odom right side, throws it up with a right hand shot. No good rebound, banged out of bounds. It'll belong to Farrell. Farrell just hasn't played anybody all year with size like this. And you can see how it, it really makes you think about your shots. And how they're being altered here by this tall Amani defense. They've done a good job after that rough start of kind of adjusting especially Odom when he has attacked the basket. Right side Samuels, right wing to, to Johnson with a minute 20. On our first half clock, Johnson attacks and gives it back to Samuels. 2-3 zone is the zone of choice now. Samuels works the right wing with 109 to go in the first half. Samuels attacks the basket, floats it high in the air, shots no good, rebound grabbed by Hall, banged into the corner, out of his hands, the Sledge, Sledge triple team, he dribbles out of traffic, now they have numbers. Sledge steps through, floats it with a right hand off the rim, no, but tapped up and in by Hall. Boy, just a, no way to keep him off the boards, he's that big. 39-24 now, Amani. Maryland cut it to nine before this run here by Amani. Baseline Johnson back out to O'Kane, three in the air, got it, big one. Big shot for Nasir O'Kane. 39-27, the Amani edge. And that was a big three, 40th three of the year for Nasir O'Kane. Wesley, worth against Johnson across the timeline with 22 seconds to go in the quarter. Baseline for Gibner and he gets Banged into sixth foul on Farrell as O'Kane will pick up the foul. 18 seconds to go here in this first half. Farrell down by 12. West, were, yeah, Wesley checks out and Hubbard checks in. They were down 11 nothing, down 18 to 2, down 24 to 7. 17 was their biggest deficit. And the inbound will be lobbed into the backcourt. Skivner with 16 seconds. Givner to the foul line, tries to step through a double team, and they'll call a foul, which will put us at one on one with a foul on Johnson. We'll be on Johnson. 
And it'll be a one-on-one, -on -one, as you mentioned. It'll be Johnson's second. So Gibner, a 74% foul shooter, will shoot one-on-one -on -one line left with 11 seconds on the first half clock. Amani, 71% as a team this year. Really good number from the charity strike. Oh, shot is up and good. Rebound, excuse me, no good, I think should say. The rebound grabbed by Farrell. It's Odom across the timeline to Samuels. Samuels right side for Wilson. Wilson attacks the paint, floats the jumper, can't get it. Rebound to the floor. Now outside to Sledge, fires from half court, and it's wide and no good. And we are at the half. It's Amani Christian Academy, 39. It's Farrell, 27. And we're back with halftime talk when we return on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96.7. Reinhardt's Insurance Agency is proud to honor the Mercer County Male and Female Athletes of the Month. Reinhardt's honors Kennedy Catholic basketball standout Isabella Bianco as the February Female Athlete of the Month. Reinhardt's Insurance also honors Hickory Indoor Track standout Luca Bertolasio as the February Male Athlete of the Month. Congratulations to Kennedy's Isabella Bianco and Hickory's Luca Bertolasio as they are the February Reinhardt's Insurance Agency Athletes of the Month. Go to Reinhardt's.com for more information. Are you looking for a great checking account without a lot of extra strings attached? A Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account is a great example of credit union value. The Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account offers no minimum balance, no monthly service fees, unlimited transactions, a Visa debit card available for 24-7 access, remote deposit, and real-time debit card alerts. See them today at one of their two locations in Grove City or online at gcafcu.org. Member NCUA Equal Housing an equal opportunity lender. Getting you approved faster than a speeding bullet. Able to lower your payments in a single bound. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Super Finance Curve. That's me. I vow to stop at nothing to get you the credits that you deserve. And I'll use all my superpowers to protect your family by getting you into a newer, safer vehicle at a payment you can afford. Hey, it's what I do. I'm Super Finance Girl from Fred Martin Ford, where we sell for less, a lot less. In 1973, something wonderful happened in Sharpsville. That's when Lock, Stock, and Barrel opened their doors and served their first of now over 3 million giant submarine sandwiches. They still serve 42 whole subs on 15-inch buns. Lock, Stock, and Barrel also offers burgers, specialty sandwiches, wraps, gyros, salads, wings, and even breakfast. Call 724-962-562. 5503 Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Proud sponsors of the sub of the game and play of the game. You're independent. So are we. We're a locally owned independent bank. Because of that, we make our loan decisions right here at the bank. You don't have to wait for some out-of-town loan committee to get together. We offer fast, quick answers on your loan requests. Mercer County State Bank. Member FDIC. Your community bank. Online at mcsbank.bank. Home Improvement Hotline, how can I help? Hi, we're thinking of remodeling our kitchen. Make your dream kitchen? Yeah. Yourself? Yes. Oh, boy. Why? Oh, the headaches from flooring in tight corners to why doesn't the countertop fit? The cabinets are wrong. Pulls don't match. Do we repaint or refloor? You have to rewire the outlet. Suddenly it's six months and you still have no um, kitchen. We don't want that. Oh, then here's who to call. Warner's Homes and Improvements. For a headache-free dream kitchen or bath, tell us your dreams. We'll make it happen. Since 1958, Warner Homes and Improvements. Quality you can trust at warnerconstruction.com. The Halftime Show is brought to you by Lock, Stock, and Barrel, serving giant subs to the Shenango Valley since 1973. Back here, Mark Slazak with Bob Greenberg. It's a 39-27 to 27 edge for Amani over Farrell. Farrell got down to 11-0, 18-2, and since then, it's, it's been much better. Yeah, it was 25 to 21. Farrell outscored Amani in the last about 12 minutes, but that start has been a bugaboo, no question about it for Farrell. But they have battled back. They've gotten Amani into some foul trouble, and now Farrell's got to feel like, hey, we can compete with this team, but can they overcome this 12-point deficit? That's the big question. All right, we'll take the break. We'll give you some scoring. We'll give you some scores as well when we come back. Amani Catholic. Reminded Christian, I said, take 39, barrel 27 of your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio, 96 7. 
I run a local business. With payroll, expenses, taxes, and equipment, taking care of business is a lot of work. But at my bank, I get mobile banking, online bill pay, and the financial advice I need to make the best decisions for my business. My bank is a financial partner I can count on. Mercer County State Bank. Member FDIC. Your community bank. Online at mcsbank.bank. Reinhardt Insurance Agency is proud to honor the Mercer County Male and Female Athletes of the Month. Reinhardt honors Kennedy Catholic Basketball Standout Isabella Bianco as the February Female Athlete of the Month. Reinhardt Insurance also honors Hickory Indoor Track Standout Luca Bertolazio as the February Male Athlete of the Month. Congratulations to Kennedy's Isabella Bianco and Hickory's Luca Bertolazio as they are the February Reinhardt Insurance Agency Athletes of the Month. Go to Reinhardt's.com for more information. Thanks for coming in. How can we help you? Uh, I'm just having a hard time. I don't know what you can do. No one understands. Just coming here was a great step. Now that you're here, let's figure out what your next step will be. We'll work on it together. Community Counseling Center of Mercer County offers care for adults, children, and families. Our mission is to help individuals and families live healthy and fulfilling lives. Community Counseling Center of Mercer County, 724-981-7141 or cccmer.org. Did you know that Mancino's Driving School can give you your driver's test? That's right. Mancino's Driving School provides an approved Pennsylvania Department of Education certified driving course as well as behind-the-wheel training. Mancino's Driving School offers one-on-one, -on -one, on the road driving lessons seven days a week with day and evening hours. They use only certified driving instructors that have undergone extensive background investigation. For details or more information on adult training, go online to MancinosDrivingSchool.com. From the Shell Restoration Studios at ShellRestoration.com, this is Sports Radio 96.7. Sports Radio 96.7. WLLF FM Mercer, a cumulus media station. The Halftime Show is brought to you by Lock, Stock, and Barrel, serving giant subs to the Shenango Valley since 1973. Back here in North Allegheny High School, Mark Slazak with Bob Greenberg, Art Shannon at the studio. Farrell has fought hard. They got down early. They battled back. They trailed by 12, but they certainly had a spark in that second quarter. They lose trail right now 39-27 to Amani Christian. Farrell stats, Danny Odom with four twos with eight points. Lamont Samuels, two twos, one of three from the line for five. Dante Bell, a three, two of two from the line for five. Nasir Kane, a two and a three for five. Kylon Wilson, two twos for four. Farrell in that first half, 11 of 31 shooting. They had two threes, shot 35%. They were three of seven from the line for 43%. Amani Christian led by Virgil Hall. Six threes and a six twos and a three for 15 points. RJ Sledge, two twos and a three, three or four from the line for 10. Wesley, two threes for six. Malouk, three twos for six. Gibner, a two for two. Amani, 16 of 32 from the field. They had four threes, shot 50%. They were three of five from the foul line for 60%. 19 rebounds for Amani Christian. Farrell with 14. Nine Amani turnovers, Farrell turned it over 10 times in the first half. We'll take a break back with more in a moment. On your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96.7. How can I help? Hi, we're thinking of remodeling our kitchen. Make your dream kitchen? Yeah. Yourself? Yes. Oh, boy. Why? Oh, the headaches from flooring in tight corners to why doesn't the countertop fit? The cabinets are wrong. Poles don't match. Do we repaint or refloor? You have to rewire the outlet. Suddenly it's six months and you still have no kitchen. Um, we don't want that. Oh, then here's who to call. Warner's Homes and Improvements for a headache-free dream kitchen or bath. Tell us your dreams. We'll make it happen. Since 1958, Warner Homes and Improvements. Quality you can trust at warnerconstruction.com. When you're a grower, you know what it takes to thrive in the field. My bank understands and respects that. When you've got a financial partner working alongside you, it makes the days a little easier and the numbers all add up. My bank is experienced when it comes to agriculture. My family's been doing business with them for a long time. I'm independent, and so is my bank. Mercer County State Bank. Member FDIC. Your community bank. Online at mcsbank.bank. When the finest cuts of meat combine with just the right amount of fire and seasonings, you don't need anything else. 
except a fork and a plate. Get ready for the most amazing dining experience ever, ever. When you're out with your friends or looking for a place to stop before or after the games, Vay's Pub & Grill is the place for you. Open Tuesday through Saturday with happy hour daily from 4.30 to 6.30. Vay's Pub & Grill, East State Street in Hermitage. Home Improvement Hotline, how can I help? Hi, we're thinking of remodeling our kitchen. Make your dream kitchen? Yeah. Yourself? Yes. Yeah, boy. Why? Oh, the headaches from flooring in tight corners to why doesn't the countertop fit? The cabinets are wrong, poles don't match. Do we repaint or refloor? You have to rewire the outlet. Suddenly it's six months and you still have no uh, kitchen. We don't want that. Oh, then here's who to call. Warner's Homes and Improvements for a headache-free dream kitchen or bath. Tell us your dreams. We'll make it happen. Since 1958, Warner Homes and Improvements. Quality you can trust at warnerconstruction.com. The third quarter is brought to you by Warner's Homes and Improvements, making dreams come true since 1958. Back here, Mark Slazak along with Bob Greenberg getting ready to start this second half of action. It's a 39-27 lead for Imani Christian over Farrell. Uh, also, let's get an update here. Shenango trailing to Greensburg Central Catholic, 33-16. That's in girls. Winner of that game plays the winner of Kennedy. And Kennedy led 30 to 21 at the half over Bishop McCourt. And here we go, Farrell with the basketball, trailing by 12. The top of the key, it's Matthews, turns, fires, and hits, all right. Kanye Matthews gets it going in the second half, his first basket. It's down to a 10 point differential. His first shot of the game as well for Kanye. Farrell had it down nine at one occasion and a run by Armani to end the half. Over a pick up high is Sledge. Inside to Wesley, back to Sledge. Three-pointer in the air. Shot, no good. Rebound banged out of bounds. Last off of Hall. And it goes back to Farrell. And now Farrell is scrapped underneath. They have done a great job blocking out. Kylan Wilson has really taken on Hall on many occasions, using his strength to keep him off the board. Yeah, there's no backing down from Kyle on. We know that. They right said Odom at the ball poked away. It's a takeaway. It's a run out. Three against two. Wilson does get back. Shot is up and good and a foul. Oh, Farrell hustled to get back. But still a three-point play for Sledge. So we point play opportunity for Sledge. Boy, a big time shot there by Sledge. Another tough turnover by Farrell. O'Kane picks up the foul, his second. And it makes it a 41-29 lead now for Amani. I thought there was almost no chance with Wilson hustling back and Sledge taking the off-balance shot, but Able to get it to go down for a 41-29 lead. Foul shot is up, drangs around, it's no good rebound grab by Odom. Going across the time, he just kind of lost his balance on that last drive. Dumps it down low, Owens to the basket, shot blocked by Baluk. Back the other way, long pass to Sledge, steps through, floats it off the glass and good. Wow, little Euro step there, it was impressive by Sledge. Right side. Farrell attacks with Wilson. Maluk with another block. Matthews got to put it back up and missed it. Rebound grabbed out front by Hall. And then ball tipped away by Odom. Off the leg of Hall. And it goes back to Farrell. Boy, Maluk making his presence felt here. Five blocks. Two on back-to-back -back possessions for Farrell here. You know, there's a rim-rattling blocks here by Maluk. Farrell down 43-29. 6.45 to go third quarter. Came to the basket. Dumps it to Matthews. Out front for Owens. Owens puts it on the floor, works right, fakes, puts it up, put it in, and count the basket a chance for a three-point play. Boy, hard work in there by Malachi Owens. He don't care about how tall this young man is. He's playing in front of him. And he goes up strong. Hall will pick up his second. And Owens has a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. Really, the, the pump fake was key. Foul shot is in and out, no good. Rebound banged right out of the corner, and it's grabbed by Matthews. Throws it off the leg of Hall and out of bounds, and Farrell will keep the basketball. Boy, you love the energy here by Farrell. 43-31. Monty leads Farrell. He's going to take Hall out and bring Williams back in. Second foul on Hall, as you mentioned, just a moment ago. Lob on the inbound, goes to Matthews in front of the basket. Matthews in the paint a long time, gives it off to Owens. Owens drives right, fakes, takes, and another foul on the big guy. The that fake draws the foul. And that'll be four on Maluk. Smart basketball. I'm sure the Farrell staff talked about that. Owens executes, and the fourth foul on Alir Maluk. And there's a lot of time left in this basketball game. What a 
huge, huge foul there on the 6'11 sophomore. Foul shot line left, Owens can't get it to go. Farrell now three of nine at, from the line. All year long it's been talked about by Coach Lowe, the foul shooting. Maluk's gonna check out, Hall checks back in. Line left, one more for Owens Farrell, trails 43-31, 6.27 to go here in the third. Line left, foul shot, back rim, no good, rebound, grab by Hall. Here's Sledge, top of the key. Sledge working to his right, and a reach in foul on O'Kane. That'll be his third. O'Kane will check out with the three fouls. Samuels in for Farrell. County Catholic leads Bishop McCord 40-27. 3.15 to go third quarter, down at Norwin. Inbound goes to Sledge, working the left wing. And he is nifty with the basketball. Ball out front. Swing it right side, Wesley fires a three. Shot no good, rebound grabbed by Bell. Carroll's done a better job on the boards, and now with Maluk out, it even helps more. Here's Odom out front for Farrell, fakes left, behind the back to the foul line, floats it up with the right hand, it's around the rim, it's no. Rebound Owens, puts it back up with the right hand, rattles it in. Malachi Owens with four all in this quarter, 43-33. The Imani lead in a little hesitation in the collision between Samuels and Sledge, and Samuels will get a foul. And this is what Farrell does, though. They have so many players, they're so deep, they will begin to wear you down physically, and that little foul, they're not the worst thing in the world on Sledge. Five forty on our clock here in the third quarter. Look at the basket to the right side. Baseline for Hall. Hall will go to the wing for Sledge. Sledge still with the dribble against Wilson to the baseline. Shot blocked from behind and Sledge to the floor, but a foul going to be called on Colin Wilson. As I said, Sledge is such an important part of this team. And beginning to foul him, you know, maybe not the worst thing in the world. You're beginning to wear him down. Still a lot of game left here tonight. Sledge will shoot one, uh, two shots here with Amani up 43-33. Line right, first one rattles in. State semifinals are on Monday for a few of the classes, including this one. Second shot, line right, up and good. So Sledge gets them both. 16 for Sledge, 45-33. Imani Lee. Samuels right side, working the dribble, knocked away, got it back. Back out front for Odom. Odom working the right, in the corner, baseline drive, Samuels floats up a runner, it's off the rim, no good, weak side rebound, cleared by Givener. Givener quickly ahead, right side for Wesley, corner for Williams. Back to Wesley, cross it to Sledge, fires a three, got it up. Sledge taking over here on the Imani side here in the third quarter. 19 points now for Sledge. He is playing outstanding. Farrell timeout. Farrell trailing 48-33. We'll take the break with 4.50 to go here in the third quarter. 48-33. Amani leads Farrell on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96-7. No time to stop? That's when you'll love the Medicine Shop Pharmacy's drive through window service at 1740 East State Street in Hermitage. Next time you're on the go, let the Medicine Shop Pharmacy make it easy for you with our fast, dependable, always convenient drive through window service. To place your order, call 724-983-8451. Our friendly drive through window service keeps you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. If you're thinking about a move to a senior living community where you can receive help with daily living, consider the Heritage or the Ridgewood at St. Paul's in Greenville, Pennsylvania. The Heritage and the Ridgewood are personal care residences offering private apartments with as much assistance as you need. Plus, services like meals, housekeeping, transportation, and social and spiritual programs. Call today for more information. 724-588-7610. St. Paul's provides equal housing opportunities. The third quarter is brought to you by Warner's Homes and Improvements making dreams come true since 1958. All right, back here at North Allegheny, Mark Slazak along with Bob Greenberg, 48-33. Amani leads Farrell, Farrell basketball. 
4.45 to go in the third quarter. Samuels to Odom out front against the 1 3 1. Ball knocked away. Back into the hands of Odom. Odom to the foul line. Floats a jumper blocked by Hall. The ball taken back by Odom. Odom feeds it to Matthews to the basket. Can't get the layup to go. Weak side rebound though. Grab by Odom to keep it alive. Odom feeds it behind him to Matthews. Matthews high post for Owens. Opposite for Wilson. Wilson hard to the basket. Put it up with the right hand. Got it. Strong drive and the layup for Wilson. 48 35. The lead for Amani, 4-11. Kyle on Wilson, he is not shy away from any contact whatsoever. Gibner will go left side for Williams on the arc. Back out front for Sledge. Sledge to the baseline, stop, pop, jumper, good again. He has all the points in this quarter. 50 to 35. And he is putting on a show here. It's 11 points in this quarter. My goodness, Farrell throwing everything out. And then Sledge with the steal, but he's on the sideline. Farrell will keep it. Farrell throwing anything, everything at him, but not able to slow him down as we have our media timeout. Media timeout with 3.47 on the clock. We'll take the break. It's Amani 50, it's Farrell 35. We're back with more in a moment on your home for the PIAA playoffs. Sports Radio 96.7. Looking for a great checking account without a lot of extra strings attached? A Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account is a great example of credit union value. The Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account offers no minimum balance, no monthly service fees, unlimited transactions, a Visa debit card available for 24-7 access, remote deposit, and real-time debit card alerts. See them today at one of their two locations in Grove City or online at gcafcu.org. Member NCUA Equal Housing and Equal opportunity lender. Did you know that Mancino's Driving School can give you your driver's test? That's right. Mancino's Driving School provides an approved Pennsylvania Department of Education certified driving course as well as behind the wheel training. Mancino's Driving School offers one-on-one on-the-road driving lessons seven days a week with day and evening hours. They use only certified driving instructors that have undergone extensive background investigation. For details or more information on adult training, go online to Mancino's drivingschool.com the third quarter is brought to you by warner's homes and improvements making dreams come true since 1958 back here at north allegheny 50 to 35 amani leads farrell 6 11 maluk on the bench with four fouls for amani farrell basketball farrell was down 16 in the first three minutes They're down 15 right now they played amani even since put him on the right wing Crosses it left side, Wilson, baseline drive, hard to the basket, can't get it to go. Rebound to the floor, grabbed by Owens. Owens tries to back in, ball stripped away. A takeaway for Williams. Long pass, had to Sledge in front of the pack, lays it up, lays it in. Boy, Sledge, he knows, he, he breaks as soon as the shot goes up, so he's available at midcourt for an outlet pass. And yeah, there's no reason for him to rebound. Ball taken away on the sideline as Odom cannot stay in bounds. Sledge forces the steal, so offensively and defensively, Sledge has been fantastic. Kenny leads McCord 47-30 at the end of three. Lake Fields with 24 in the first three quarters for the Golden Eagles who are trying to make it back to the state semifinals for the second year in a row. Sledge with the basketball. He has 23, 13 in this quarter. Ball knocked away off the leg. Okay, knocks it to the floor. Fight for the basketball. We've got a jump ball and the held ball arrow. The arrow going to Amani. Wilson had the ball and then uh, didn't really want to get rid of it or get rid of it. Wesley trying to fire up Wilson. Kylon is calm, cool, and collected. Gave him a look though, let him know he meant business. There's the inbound to Hall. Hall underneath, quickly fired, backdoor cut, and a layup for Gibner on a nifty out of bounds play. Gibner with four. 54-35 now, Farrell down by 19. Samuels inside to Owens, puts it up and in with the right hand. Six in the quarter for Malachi Owens, 54-37. Amani leads Farrell. Gibner top of the key. He's close to a walk now, Owens is on the floor. He did call the walk, Owens got thrown down by Hall. And the officials did not see that because the travel was called away from the ball. And the officials concentrated on that, and Owens ended up on the floor as Hall threw him down. So Hall should have been whistled up for his yeah. third foul. If not more. But either way, it's feral basketball. 
And now the officials are talking it over. I'm not sure why Malachi Owens needs to be part of this conversation. He's the one who got I think, to the ground. I think the reason why he's part of the conversation is because the official didn't see what had happened. And Owens was on the floor. He heard the thud on the floor. I'm not sure how the one official didn't <laughs> see. He was behind the play. Everybody concentrate on that, on the turnover. Here's Farrell across the timeline. Samuels gets the 1-3-1 zone. Down low, it's intended for a bell, and it's a steal. There's Sledge, ahead, right side, laid it up and in with a right hand. There's Wesley, eight for Wesley. And it's 56-37, I'm on him. O'Kane, top of the key, foul line. Tries to dump it in the right corner, ball deflected away, loose on the floor, and a fight for the basketball. Owens ends up on top of the pile. And they called a held ball, and with the held ball, we'll go to the arrow. Farrell oh. ball this time. And Omar Foster, he could have been teed up there. He was way out of the coach's box on the floor. I think he was trying to call a timeout, so they gave him some grace. But he didn't get the timeout because the ball was held. And I, I think that's why they gave him grace. He wasn't arguing. He was just running out to try to get the timeout. He is supposed to stay in that box. Well, so there's, right. well, there's discretion <laughs> on the coach's box now, you're telling me? Sometimes there is. You know there is. Baseline inbound. What other rules aren't they going to enforce tonight? <laughs> Let me know. Ball <laughs> in the corner to O'Kane. The ball slapped out of bounds off of Wesley. I would like to know that before the game starts if I was a coach. Now, you have watched this coach's box for years, Bob. You know it's not enforced with one step out. It's an automatic tee. Come on. Well, out front to O'Kane. It's the 1-3-1 to Wilson right side. In the corner for Bell. High post for Owens. Steps through a double team, and the ball knocked away. Wesley with the steal for a moment, or did he get it? And uh, it ends up back in Wesley's hands after it deflected off Johnson, but Wesley was out of bounds. Farrell will keep it. 56-37, Farrell down by 19, 159 to go here in the third quarter. Johnson to O'Kane, O'Kane to the foul line, stop, pop, jumper, good. I need a lot of those. And O'Kane aggressive to the basket, long pass ahead goes to Hall, and he lays it in. So Hall beat everybody back down the floor after the Farrell basket, he now has 17. 57-39, there's Bell gonna fire a three, it's too long, weak side rebound grabbed by Williams. And they're in midcourt, ball stolen away by O'Kane, hard to the basket, oh. layup will be no good, and then a little bumping afterwards. We're gonna get a T or two. And here we go, there's gonna be some T's here. As O'Kane got shoved into the mat. Yeah, it was, it was not by any means a basketball kind of foul. And the official did call intentional foul. Farrell players saved by Ampagese and Matt Fowler as uh, so many players from the bench got up, but they were prevented from going on the floor. And now there are some technicals here as well as the officials are talking it over. After O'Kane got fouled hard, he went nose to nose. There was nothing between the two. Now they're screaming as Owens is being held back from screaming over to the Amani bench. The one thing I don't like is the Amani coaches looking back over at the Pharaoh players and clapping and saying, bring it on. That, that's, that's not sportsman like by any means for the coaches to get to that. The players are 18 year old kids or lower and they'll be emotional. Coaches, you gotta keep your composure. Don't say bring it on I, I, to young kids. I 100% agree. Absolutely now, unacceptable behavior by coaching staff. Now after you know, Kane goes nose to nose, they, they exchange words but there was no contact. Then a, then a feral player did come into that pile and bang in. And then it kind of just became pushing and shoving, so we'll see what gets sorted out here. So here we go, officials are talking it over. We'll see if we can find out exactly. So there was a foul on the play, an intentional foul on O'Kane to shoot two here. It was Wesley that committed the foul. Then Wesley, Wesley, he, he didn't even give O'Kane a, a chance to shoot. He didn't go for the ball. He grabbed him and took away the layup. So that's where the intentional foul came in. And Farrell players came to the rescue of O'Kane, who was getting nose to nose in just words with Wesley. And then from that point, and, and all the players, all 10 on the floor kind of got down there. And, and you got to remember, just a little bit ago, there was a, Owens got shoved to the ground. There was no call. Nobody saw it. Right. So you could tell there's the, the energy was beginning to build here a little bit. So it didn't take much. And now see the officials are still talking it over. 
Let's say, this is one of those things that have been in the NBA or the college level, they go to video, there's a lot to look at. For these three officials to see all of what happened, even more so than maybe what we have seen, is a very difficult task. There's no question about that, Mark. I would agree. And this will be difficult to sort out, and either way, there's going to be probably people unhappy. Intentional foul. There's definitely a call. And that's all I can see so far from the officials. We're behind him. So I'm crossing the arms. And a technical foul being signaled. Technical foul, is, it, is he pointing towards Farrell? It may be, because I, I thought he mouthed 12, which could have been Bell who rushed in between. Well, if it's, if it's on, it can't be on Malouk. Well, no, he wasn't. Well, unless Malouk gets called for coming off the bench or anything. I don't know. He did. And they're still talking because they put here. they put 12 with the fifth foul. So if that is off the bench and a technical, then he would be out of the game because he would count as a as a personal foul. Farrell side 12. That was Bell. He was on the floor, so I don't know if they put the wrong number up there. Yeah, we'll have to wait. This is they're still talking it over because, at the head yeah. scoring table. Number 12 Bell was on the floor. Number 12 Maluk was on the bench. That doesn't mean he could not have. Williams gets the foul. A technical foul has been assessed to number 12, Dante Bell out there. Bell gets a technical. It will be a technical foul shot first. Then the technical foul shot, and it will be Amani basketball. So the technical only on Farrell. The PA announcer yes. talking as the foul shots were going on. Maybe not a great idea, but. Okane. Okay. Okay. Did he hit both or what? He made one second. of two. Okay, hits the second. I didn't see the first one. So Kane hits the second. The PA announcer explaining the foul, intentional foul, on Marcus Williams. So it was not on Wesley, but it was on Williams. Sledge will shoot the technical foul shots. The technical foul was on Farrell's Bell, number 12, not Maluk, number 12. And foul shot line right. The technical by Sledge is no good. They have not put Farrell's point up on the board yet. He, oh, now they do. Okay. Sledge will have one more line right. And he hits that. But the odd part about that too, everybody on Imani's bench and pretty much coaches and everybody were all up like it was a timeout standing on the floor. So Farrell, the, the bad break there is Farrell loses the, on the intentional five, they lose the possession. Yeah, it goes, ends up going over the arrow. Ball knocked away inside. It's a takeaway for Farrell. Wilson gets the possession right back. Wilson hard to the basket, under the basket. Now flips it to O'Kane. Out front, left, firing a three. Bell in and out, no good. Wilson skies for the rebound, try to save it, but it's into the hands of Sledge. Sledge to the foul line, working right into the corner for Williams. Baseline drive, and the ball knocked out of bounds off the foot of Williams. Farrell ball. 109 to go here. Farrell trailing 59-40. Really can't afford to fall much further down. No doubt. Okay. We'll go to Johnson. Down low for Owens. Double team. Dribbles through. Ball off his foot. As it slapped out of his hands by Hall. Right side it goes to Wesley. Back out front for Gibner who hands to Sledge. Sledge holds the basketball. Farrell man to man. Right side for Williams. 41 seconds to go in the quarter to Gibner. Gibner fakes right, goes left, down the lane, bangs into Owens. Shot is going to be no good, but a whistle and a foul, and there will be two shots coming for Dame Gibner. That'll be on Johnson. That'll be his third. 36 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Farrell trailing 59 to 40. Line right, foul shot good. Line left if you're watching on the YouTube. Gibner with five in the game, who averages 16 a game for Armani. Second shot is in and out, no good. Farrell with the rebound is grabbed by Bell. To O'Kane with 32 seconds. Fired down low for Wilson, hard to the basket in the traffic, and draws a foul. And, and the thing about Wilson, he is so strong. 
And he can get into it, and, and he's not tall, so he may not be able to get the shot off the glass, but he's certainly strong enough to get into you and have you create a foul, and he did that right there. And that's uh, no question about that, and he, he has no fear as well. Third foul on Gibner. Foul shot is good for Wilson. Barrel trail 60 to 41, 28 seconds to go here in the third. One more shot for the senior, Kylan Wilson. It's up and it's off the front rim, no good. Rebound grabbed there by Wesley. Walking it across the timeline. Against some pressure is Sledge. Sledge working against O'Kane. Close to a five call, got it away just in time. Lob inside goes to Hall, spin, shoot. And that's got to be a technical for hanging on the rim. There is. He got the ball to go in. Now they could also seriously think about calling basket of interference because that ball was rolling around the rim while he held on. The basket should not count. I'm thinking they should wipe that out. He dunked it, but the ball did not go clearly in. The ball continued to roll around the rim as he hung there for about three seconds. He got teed up for sure. And will they count the basket? No basket. Oh my goodness. And a technical. No basket. Because he interfered as he did not dunk it cleanly. I've never, I've never wow. seen that before. Think about that. Well, I like the call. So Hall gets a technical. That'll be his third foul. And Owens will shoot the two foul shots. First one rattles in. This third quarter has been eventful, hasn't it? Yeah, now three fouls on Hall. Owens again, line left. Back rim, no good. It'll be a sideline inbound for Farrell with 11 seconds to go in the quarter. Farrell down 60 to 42. Ball into Wilson with 10 seconds. Back to Johnson with nine. One, three, one zone. Johnson out front, and Wilson gets fouled. Boy, barely got the ball saved before going back court in a violation. Gets fouled. And that's 16 fouls on both teams. 4.5 to go. They're going to get this ball in. Wesley's dangerous out front defensively. Johnson looking, gets it into Wilson with four. Back to Johnson with two. Johnson going to fire a long three at the buzzer off the rim. No good. And that's going to end the quarter. It's Amani 60, it's Farrell 42. We're back with a fourth when we return at your home for the PIAA playoffs. Sports Radio 96.7. I'm just having a hard time. I don't know what you can do. No one understands. Just coming here was a great step. Now that you're here, let's figure out what your next step will be. We'll work on it together. Community Counseling Center of Mercer County offers care for adults, children, and families. Our mission is to help individuals and families live healthy and fulfilling lives. Community Counseling Center of Mercer County, 724-981-7141 or cccmer.org. It's official. Fred Martin Ford is the Valley's premier pre-owned destination. In fact, we are the number one Ford Blue Advantage dealer in the region. It's because every one of our certified pre-owned vehicles, regardless of maker model, is backed by a 12-month, 12,000-mile 12 warranty. And Ford certified vehicles also carry a 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Of course, we always have a massive selection of in-demand models. Models, and we price them right. Come see why we're the best. Because at Fred Martin Ford, we sell pre-owned for less, a lot less. The fourth quarter is brought to you by Shell Restoration, the area's number one roofing, siding, windows, and gutter installer. It'll be an inbound here for Farrell to start this fourth quarter. Actually, Monty's ball to start this fourth quarter. It's 60 to 42. The lead for Monty over Farrell. Mark Slazak with Bob Greenberg, also on the Farrell Area School District Athletics YouTube page. Justin and Steve Lewis helping us out with that. Across the timeline, right side, Sledge, crossword pass, stolen away. Long pass ahead, though, for Farrell. They steal it right back. Samuels made the steal, try to squeeze it in. Here's Gibner to the basket. Shot blocked inside by Owens. Back the other way, Samuels with Farrell. Numbers, Samuels right side to the basket. Layup, good! Lamont Samuels not to be denied. Right to the basket. Seven now for Samuels. Farrell cuts it to 16, 60 to 44. Sledge had a huge third quarter. Double teamed out front. Gives the ball off right side. Wesley 
Dumps it left side for Gibner. Into the paint, Gibner crosses it out. Williams gonna flow to three off the rim. No good, rebound on the floor, grabbed by Samuels. Samuels on the run, being chased. Ball poked away by Sledge. Long pass the other way. Gibner under the basket, lays it up, lays it in. Actually, Wesley, I should say, lays it in. 62-44. As Farrell couldn't capitalize on the break opportunity. Out front is okay. Quickly, three ball off the rim. No, rebound grabbed by Hall. And Hall tries to go along to Sledge, taken right back by Wilson. Into the corner for Samuels, ball poked out of bounds. Ball was deflected, I don't think the officials may have seen that. And a timeout gonna be taken here by Amani. Amani timeout will take the timeout with 6.49 to go here in this quarter. 62-44, Amani leads Farrell on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio, 96-7 here for a great cause? Buell Regional Health Foundation has partnered with Remote Area Medical to provide free dental care for those without access to regular dental treatment. The dental clinic will be held at Sharon High School Saturday and Sunday, June 10th and 11th. The dental clinic is staffed by volunteers and is looking for nurses, nursing students, allied health professionals, people with administration and hospitality skills, and general volunteers. For more information or to register as a volunteer, visit BuellRegionalHealthFoundation.org slash dental. From the Shell Restoration Studios at ShellRestoration.com. This is Sports Radio 96.7. Sports Radio 96.7. WLLF FM Mercer. A cumulus media station. The fourth quarter is brought to you by Shell Restoration. The area's number one roofing, siding, windows, and gutter install. We're back here in North Allegheny. Mark Slazak with Bob Greenberg. Our Shannon back at the studio at 62-44. The lead for Imani over Farrell, 6.49 to go. There's a bad break there for Farrell. Looked like it was off of Imani, but the official telling Myron Lowe, I didn't see it, I didn't see the tip off, and none of the other guys on the crew helping him out, so it will be Imani ball there instead of Farrell's ball. Inbound will go to Sledge. Works against Odom in the backcourt. Sledge across the timeline. Fires to Wesley, baseline for Gibner tries to flip it inside, threw it past everybody, ends up in the hands of Sledge, fires and hits a three. How about that? What a game for RJ Sledge. 65-44 now, Amani up 21. Baseline, it goes to Odom, turns, shoots, can't hit it from there, rebound grabbed by Gibner. Cross the timeline, Gibner top of the key. And as he gives the ball off to Wesley, the ball, Wesley didn't catch it cleanly, gets called for the travel, give the ball back to Farrell. Sledge now with 26 for Imani Christian. He came in averaging 11. Transfer point guard from Bishop Canavan's state championship team. Here's Odom down the lane, into the paint. Shot blocked by Gibner. Rebound grabbed by Williams. Back to Gibner left side, hard to the basket. Oh, oh they called a block. I thought that was going to be a charge. And the ball ended up going in as well. O'Kane going to get called for the blocking foul as he got crushed by Gibner on the drive. Count the basket. They give her a chance for a three-point play. 67-44 now with 6.02 to go in the game. And Farrell's quest getting back to the state championship for the first time since 2015 is, is getting uh, much steeper and steeper here in this fourth quarter. But Gibner will shoot line right. And rolls it in. Three point play for Gibner. 68 44. The lead and a reach in foul here. Going to be called on the other end against Wesley. So Wesley will pick up the foul. The foul on O'Kane, by the way, that was his fourth foul. Second foul there on Wesley. Farrell in the one and one. Both teams will be shooting here on out. Both teams with into the bonus. And line left for Samuels. First foul shot is up and good. Samuels with eight in the game. 68-45. The lead for Amani back into the game. Alir Malouk. He's got six points in the game. He's got six blocks in the game. Also has four fouls. Mine left, Samuels hits it again. 68-46. The Amani lead. Inbound goes to... Gibner, or Wesley near side. Head to Gibner. 
Across the timeline, down the lane, righty layup, up and good. Boy. Give it a take in charge now. Hard to the basket, 70 to 46. Lead for Amani. Here's Odom. And try to cross it out front to O'Kane, stolen by Sledge. Four on two break, bounce it right side. Wesley, three ball, too strong. Maluk rebound and he jams at home with two hands. Out front, Samuels. Left side for Johnson, then to Wilson who floats a three. It's off the rim, no. Rebound grabbed by Gibner. Gibner left side in the corner for Sledge. And back out front in the 72-46 Amani lead. Lob down low for Hall. Hall turns, righty hook, short, no good. Rebound grabbed by Johnson to Farrell. Johnson, right side corner. Samuels, three ball, off the rim, no. Maluk with a rebound. And then traveling as it crosses the timeline was Virgil Hall, give the ball back to Farrell. Farrell played so hard here tonight for a long stretch, got off to a tough start. Maybe a little shell shock. I mean, the size of this team is something you're not used to seeing. It was 18 to two, that rough start. And they battled for a long stretch here, but uh, just running out of time against this awfully talented Imani Christian team. Farrell got it down to nine a couple occasions. Right side, Johnson tried to fire it down low. It's taken away. Gibner ahead to Sledge and taken back by Johnson. Good athletic play by Johnson. Johnson right of the lane, off to Wilson. Wilson into the paint, ready layup, glass and no. And Gibner with a rebound. Of course, Sledge is leaking down the floor ahead of everybody. Fakes a layup, takes a layup and hits it. And draws a foul. Yeah, he, he never really comes. As soon as the shot goes up, he is at the midcourt strike. Yeah, and, he is going. And there's no reason not to be. Yeah, he's, he's not going to rebound. Yeah, he's a 5'10 guard, so they take full advantage of that. 28 now for Sledge. Line right with a 74-46 lead for Imani. Johnson checks out, and James Harrison in for Farrell. So line right for R.J. Sledge. Foul shot, no good. Rebound grabbed by Owens of Farrell. Left side, Samuel splits a double team, dumps it down low to Owens, but actually threw it at his feet and skips out of bounds. Farrell will turn it over. 4.19 to go. And unbelievably, at this point, Amani Christian, if they score here, it'll be the mercy roll. Wow. Just like that. Timeout. Not sure what that was at the scores table, but it'll be an inbound for Imani. It's full court feral pressure. Gibner across the timeline and gets contacted a couple of times by Samuels, and they'll call the foul. There'll be opportunity from the foul line for Dame Gibner. 4.14 to go here. And so Gibner eyes it, shoots it, and rattles out the front end of the one of the one. A rebound grabbed by Samuels of Farrell. Quickly across the timeline into the right corner for Wilson. Back to Samuels. Samuels through the lane, scoops with the right hand, glass and good. Lamont Samuels cuts it to 74-47. Long pass ahead to Gibner, leaves it off for Hall, slams it with a right hand. Farrell scores, and then the blink of an eye, and there's Amani on the other end. Here's Odom down the lane. He gets fouled from behind, and Danny Odom will shoot a pair. That foul is going to go on Hall. Greensburg Central Catholic beat Shenango 53-35. Last report, Kennedy up big over Bishop of Court, 60 to 45. So it's gonna be Kennedy Catholic and Greensburg Central Catholic in the 2A Western Final. And that game will be on Monday. We'll take a timeout, 3.52, our media timeout, 76-48, the Farrell lead, or three-year-old deficit, I'm sorry, Monty leads. We're back with more in a moment on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio, 96-7.
thinking of remodeling our kitchen. Make your dream kitchen? Yeah. Yourself? Yes. Oh, boy. Why? Oh, the headaches from flooring in tight corners to why doesn't the countertop fit? The cabinets are wrong. Poles don't match. Do we repaint or refloor? You have to rewire the outlet. Suddenly it's six months and you still have no um, kitchen. We don't want that. Oh, then here's who to call. Warner's Homes and Improvements. For a headache-free dream kitchen or bath, tell us your dreams. We'll make it happen. Since 1958, Warner Homes and Improvements. Quality you can trust at warnerconstruction.com. Vase Pub and Grill is proud to award the February 2023 Mercer County Team of the Month. Vase is proud to announce that Mercer Boys Basketball is the February Mercer County Team of the Month. Congratulations to Mustangs coach Joe Vanasco and his Mercer Boys Basketball Team as they are the February Vase Pub and Grill Mercer County Team of the Month. For more information, go to vasepubandgrill.com. The fourth quarter is brought to you by Shell Restoration, the area's number one roofing, siding, windows, and gutter installer. 3.52 out of the media timeout of the fourth quarter. Imani 76, Farrell 48. Danny Odom foul line left. It's been a uh, really a great run here for Farrell, his senior class especially. First foul shot is up and no good. He'll get one more. Three-time District 10 champions, this senior class. Won a couple PWA playoff games in their careers. Second shot is up and good. Many of these same players, great success on the football field as well and even in the classroom. Ball out front, 76-49. Gibner. Working against Harrison. Works to his left, five second count. Good job, Harrison. Forces the five, and the ball goes back over to Farrell. I think Harrison, for a moment, thought he committed to foul. <laughs> the ball will go back to Farrell on the Imani turnover. And the inbound. The ball will go to Odom across the timeline. Right side for Samuels. Samuels attacks the basket, hard to the hoop, draws a foul. Might have been on the loop. Nope, it's going to be on Hall. So Hall actually has committed his fifth foul, so he'll foul out. With 19 points. And 3.30 to go. Hall has committed five, and Maluk on the field as or on the court, I should say. He's committed four. Williams will check in. The technical count, and that's where the coach was confused as what the fouls were. He thought it was just four on Hall. But the technical yeah. on the hanging on the rim counts. Yeah, that that's one that goes for two. Line left. Samuels' foul shot is up and good. 12 off the bench for senior Lamont Samuel. Second shot, line left, is off the rim. No good. Rebound is out of bounds. It's last off Farrell. 76 to 50. Imani lead, 3.30 to go. Inbound against Farrell pressure. We'll go to Williams. Amanda Wesley across the timeline. Dump it corner for Givner. Baseline drive, heart of the basket. Dumps it over to Wesley for the layup. It's up and good. Avery now with 12. Well, into the corner, deflected into the hands of Odom. Odom triple teamed on that sideline. Ball stolen away by Malouk. Malouk in front of the pack to the basket. Two hand jam. 10 now for Malouk. It's now 80 to 50. And the Farrell Steelers. And Farrell going to take a, a full timeout. Full timeout. Timeout, Farrell. 246 to go in this one. 80 to 50, the lead right now for Amani over Farrell. More in a moment on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96.7. business. It's a way of life. 
My bank understands agriculture. They're local. They're here for the long haul. Agriculture is a business that varies like the weather. That's why I need a financial partner I can grow with in good times and bad, whether or not. Mercer County State Bank. Member FDIC. Your community bank. Online at mcsbank.bank. Home Improvement Hotline, how can I help? Hi, we're thinking of remodeling our kitchen. Make your dream kitchen? Yeah. Yourself? Yes. Yeah, oh boy. Why? Oh, the headaches from flooring in tight corners to why doesn't the countertop fit? The cabinets are wrong, poles don't match. Do we repaint or refloor? You have to rewire the outlet? Suddenly it's six months and you still have no um, kitchen? We don't want that. Oh, then here's who to call. Warner's Homes and Improvements. For a headache-free dream kitchen or bath, tell us your dreams. We'll make it happen. Since 1958, Warner Homes and Improvements. Quality you can trust at warnerconstruction.com. The fourth quarter is brought to you by Shell Restoration, the area's number one roofing, siding, windows, and gutter installer. Farrell has made some substitutions on the floor. James Harrison, Jackson Jones. Right side, Wesley with a basketball for Armani. And Omar Foster does not do the same, is that surprisingly ready, enough. He's ready to check him in now at the table, but yeah, he could have brought him in at that break. Sion Rain also in that, out there for Farrell, Kanye Matthews, and Leon Harris. Yeah, really not smart. One of these guys hurt an ankle or something here in a mercy roll, getting ready for the state semis. Mm -hmm. So that's a little triangle delay now. Sledge gives it off to Givner. Sledge, Givner, and Wessler in the triangle delay. A timeout going to be taken. A 30-second timeout by Amani with that opportunity to get the subs in. To take a timeout. A minute 49 to go. 50 to 80 to 50. Amani over Farrell on Sports Radio 96.7. Mancino's Driving School can give you your driver's test? That's right. Mancino's Driving School provides an approved Pennsylvania Department of Education certified driving course as well as behind-the-wheel training. Mancino's Driving School offers one-on-one, -on -one, on-the-road driving lessons seven days a week with day and evening hours. They use only certified driving instructors that have undergone extensive background investigation. For details or more information on adult training, go online to mancinosdrivingschool.com. The fourth quarter order is brought to you by Shell Restoration, the area's number one roofing, siding, windows, and gutter installer. Fisher tried to put the ball in play, but the, the clock has a time a timer on it, and the timeout clock is if they just wanted to get the subs in, but can't stop that, apparently. And now it will get put into play. Monty basketball, they've put some substitutes into the game now as well here. Williams out there with Compton, who's checked in for the first time. Hubbard is back in there. A little triangle delay as well, though. Also out there is Barnett and Corbin. Williams with the basketball. Minute 24 to go. Well, the issue with for the Hubbard. clock was Mark was that the official never checked over. I know. <laughs> he wasn't looking at the, the scorekeeper. And he, he was like, I'm not ready yet. But they never looked over and asked if he was ready. Had to, had to buzz him. Armani just running triangle delay though at this point. Out front Compton. So Hubbard. Back out to Williams. Jones guards him. Leon Harrison. Guarding Hompton. Well, goes right corner. It's goes there to Barnett and back out front with 43 seconds to go. Williams dribbles the basketball. Lobs it across court and threw it out of bounds. Farrell will get the ball. And the clock is running. And the outstanding year for the Farrell Steelers is going to come to an end here tonight at North Allegheny in the state quarterfinals. Harrison right side, three ball off the rim, no good. Rebound grabbed by Rain. Spins into the corner for Leon Harrison. He'll try a three off the rim, no good. 11 seconds to go. Rebound grabbed there by Compton. I think that's going to be it. Cross the timeline with three seconds, and that will do it. Farrell Steelers with a great season. A District 10 championship and 22 wins, but it ends at North Allegheny in the quarterfinals. The final score here, Amani 80 and Farrell 50.
The Farrell Steelers season and quest to get to Hershey will end up two games short as they lose to this powerhouse, the Monte Christian team, 80 to 50. Nothing to be ashamed of. The Steelers battled from the start, got off to a bad start down 18 to two early on and just too much of a mountain to climb for the Steelers here tonight. 80 to 50, Amani Christian over Farrell back with post game when we return on your home for the PIAA Playoff Sports Radio 96.7. Birds are chirping, the days are getting longer, and the deals are smoking hot at Fred Martin Ford. Like $4,000 off all in stock F 150s, and not just the leftover 22 models, but every 22 and 23 F 150 on the ground, with many to choose from. All are $4,000 off, plus you get 0% financing. And don't worry about your credit. Getting you financed is never a problem. Cash in on these big spring savings today at Fred Martin Ford, where we sell for less, a lot less. In 1973, something wonderful happened in Sharpsville. That's when Lock, Stock, and Barrel opened their doors and served their first of now over 3 million giant submarine sandwiches. They still serve 42 whole subs on 15-inch buns. Lock, Stock, and Barrel also offers burgers, specialty sandwiches, wraps, gyros, salads, wings, and even breakfast. Call 724-962-5503. Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Proud sponsors of the sub of the game and play of the game. Water. You can ski on it. Watch the sun set behind it. Bathe in it. Swim in it. Cook with it. Or seek refuge and solace beside it. But the most refreshing water has a very particular label on it. Herman's Water since 1908. Pure spring water that can be delivered to your office or home for free. Online at Herman'sWater.com. Herman's Water, when taste matters. Whether you need an annual flu shot or a series of vaccines for an upcoming adventure, stop by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy for a convenient way to protect yourself against various diseases. Their pharmacists are certified to administer immunizations right here in the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. They offer immunizations including influenza, shingles, pneumonia, and vaccines for international travel. The Medicine Shop in Hermitage want you, your family, and everyone in the community to be at their best. Stop by to see their complete list of immunizations at the Medicine Shop on East State Street in Hermitage. Stop by O'Neill Coffee and try one of their magically delicious signature drinks. From classic favorites such as the Leap and Leprechaun and Dublin Ditty to the all-new Irish Mist Cold Brew, Pinch Proof Joe Freeze, and five amazing new refreshers. You'll be doing an Irish jig all the way home. Be sure to check out the new O'Neill Coffee spring merchandise arriving daily open monday through friday from 7 to 4 30 and saturdays from 8 to 1 or visit them on the web at o'neillcoffee.com are you looking for a great checking account without a lot of extra strings attached a grove city area federal credit union checking account is a great example of credit union value the grove city area federal credit union checking account offers no minimum balance no monthly service fees unlimited transactions a visa debit card available for 24 7 access remote deposit and real-time debit card alerts see them today at one of their two locations in grove city or online at gcafcu.org member ncua equal housing an equal opportunity lender. The fifth quarter show is brought to you by O'Neill Coffee. Great taste delivered since 1951 and proud supporters of the player of the game. We're back here, Mark Slazak, along with Bob Greenberg, our Shannon back at the studio. Final score in this one was Amani Christian 80 and Farrell 50. Time now for the lock, stock, and barrel sub of the game. We'll award that to Farrell's Lamont Samuels off the bench with 12 points in this one to lead Farrell scores in conjunction with Sports Radio 96.7. Lock, stock, and barrel honors Lamont Samuels as the sub of the game. He'll have his name on the Sports Radio 96.7 website in order of the award. At the end of the season, we'll have a lock, stock, and barrel sub of the year. Everybody on that team will get a sub chips, drink, and dessert courtesy of lock, stock, and barrel. Check the list of winners at sportsradio967.com. Congratulations to Lamont Samuels of Farrell, the lock, stock, and barrel sub of the game. That's powered by Landmark Information Services, and that's your place for website and social media design needs. Take a break. We're back with more post game. Again, the final is Amani Christian 80 and Farrell 50 on your home for the PIAA Playoffs Sports Radio 96.7. 
finest cuts of meat combined with just <laughs> done up there. Okay, I can see their cameras down. Everything's down. Well, they have one camera up, so oh, I didn't know if that I was. Better be, <laughs> oh, we better be careful now. And a plate. Get ready for the most amazing dining experience ever. Ever. When you're out with your friends or looking for a place to stop before or after the games, Vay's Pub and Grill is the place for you. Open Tuesday through Saturday with happy hour daily from 4.30 to 6.30. Vay's Pub and Grill, East State Street in Hermitage. Are you looking for a great checking account without a lot of extra strings attached? A Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account is a great example of credit union value. The Grove City Area Federal Credit Union checking account offers no minimum balance, no monthly service fees, unlimited transactions, a Visa debit card available for 24-7 access, remote deposit, and real-time debit card alerts. See them today at one of their two locations in Grove City or online at gcafcu.org. Member NCUA Equal Housing and equal opportunity lender. Whether you need an annual flu shot or a series of vaccines for an upcoming adventure, stop by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy for a convenient way to protect yourself against various diseases. Our pharmacists are certified to administer immunizations right here in the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. We offer immunizations including influenza, shingles, pneumonia, and vaccines for international travel. The Medicine Shop in Hermitage wants you, your family, and everyone in the community to be at their best. The Medicine Shop on East State Street in Hermitage. Reinhardt's Insurance Agency is proud to honor the Mercer County Male and Female Athletes of the Month. Reinhardt's honors Kennedy Catholic Basketball Standout Isabella Bianco as the February Female Athlete of the Month. Reinhardt's Insurance also honors Hickory Indoor Track Standout Luca Bertolazzi as the February Male Athlete of the Month. Congratulations to Kennedy's Isabella Bianco and Hickory's Luca Bertolasio as they are the February Reinhardt's Insurance Agency Athletes of the Month. Go to Reinhardt's.com for more information. Stop by O'Neill Coffee and try one of their magically delicious signature drinks. From classic favorites such as the Leap and Leprechaun and Dublin Ditty to the all-new Irish Mist Cold Brew, Pinch Proof Joe Freeze, and five amazing new refreshers. You'll be doing an Irish jig all the way home. Be sure to check out the new O'Neill Coffee Spring Merchandise arriving daily. Open Monday through Friday from 7 to 4.30 and Saturdays from 8 to 1. Or visit them on the web at O'NeillCoffee.com. The Fifth Quarter Show is brought to you by O'Neill Coffee. Great taste delivered since 1951. And proud supporters of the player of the game. Back here, Mark Slazak along with Bob Greenberg. Final score in this one is Monte Christian 80 and Farrell 50. And uh, Bob, the numbers from this one. Yeah, final numbers in this game for the... Uh, 